Welcome to Ararat Healthcare and Child Cost Learning Centre, your one-stop solution for IELTS, OET, CBT and OSCE training, as well as uh, recruitment to achieve your dream to be a registered nurse in the UK. To enhance your chances of passing your OSCE on the first attempt, please visit our website on www.charcoslearningcentre.com to register and book our unique OSCE portal consisting of videos, reading material and quizzes. This registration not only gives you access to the portal, you will also receive five complimentary online classroom style sessions and a mock OSCE test. So don't delay your achieving your dreams any longer and sign up now. ANTT. This first video is ANTT, aseptic non-touch technique for wound dressing. In this station you'll be given 17 minutes to change a small dressing on a mannequin demonstrating aseptic wound care. Remember to talk to the mannequin as you would a patient, comment on the appearance of the wound and refer to the care plan. Entering the room, checking it's safe to do so before I approach my patient and do my hand hygiene. Using the gel, palm to palm, palm to palm, fingers interlaced, fingers interlaced, palm to palm, fingers interlaced, fingers interlocked, tips of the fingers, tips of the fingers, rotation of the palm, and finally the wrists. Hello. Hello. My name's Julie, I'm one of the nurses here. Um, I'm going to be looking after you this afternoon. May I know your name, please? My name is Helen Craig. Okay, and what would you like to be called? Helen. Please. Helen, okay. Um, Helen, would you be able to tell me your date of birth, please? Yes, it is 6th of June, 1950. Do you mind if I just double check that with your wristband? No, please go ahead. Okay, so Helen Craig, date of birth, 6th of June, 1950, and um, your hospital number is F001, F001HC, F001, F001-001-HC. Helen, I see that you've got a, a red wristband on here. Do, do you have an allergy at all? Yes, I'm allergic to penicillin. And what happens when you take penicillin? I get rash all over my body and my throat swells up. Okay, so when did that happen? Uh, it, uh, it hasn't happened recently. I've been quite careful. Okay. Well, we'll make sure that you don't get any penicillin whilst you're here because it is written on your notes as well and you've got your red wristband on. So, um, Do you have any uh, other allergies that you're aware of, perhaps to any adhesives or dressings at all? No, I'm fine with everything else. Okay. So the reason I've come here to speak to you this afternoon, Helen, is that I need to change this dressing on your arm here. Okay. Okay. Would now be a convenient time to do that? Uh, yes. Okay, it's going to take about 10-15 minutes to do, so do you need to use the washroom or anything like that? No, I'm fine. Okay, and um, do you need any painkillers at all? No, I'm fine. You don't have any pain at the moment? No. Okay, so it may disrupt um, your, your sight and cause a little pain at the, at the time, so you sure you don't want any? Yes, I'm sure. Okay, so what I'm going to do, Helen, is I'm going to pull the curtains, um, and give you some privacy. I'm going to turn off the fan and make sure the windows are closed um, and then go and get all my equipment ready, okay? Okay. Okay, so in the meantime, if you need anything, here's the call bell. Um, if you uh, need anything, but I will be back with the equipment, okay? Okay. So I'm going to wash my hands, making sure to use the elbows, wetting my hands, applying some soap, Palm to palm, palm to back, palm to palm, fingers interlaced, fingers interlocked, rotation of the thumb, tips of the fingers, and the wrists. Then I am going to rinse. Using hand towels, from the tips of the fingers down to the wrists. I'm going to make sure my hands are dry. Dispose of the towel in the domestic waste. I'm 
making sure that my hands are thoroughly dry. I'm now going to collect my trolley. I need to ascertain uh, if the trolley has been cleaned with soap and water in the last 24 hours, um, which it has. So therefore I am going to clean it with alcohol wipes only. Placing on an apron. and a pair of clean, non-sterile gloves. Okay. Taking some 70% alcohol wipes, I'm checking the expiry date, 2023. I'm gonna take two of these. I'm going to clean my trolley from furthest to nearest, from top to bottom. So starting with this one, with the rails. Cleaning the top shelf in a zigzag manner, from furthest to nearest. Moving on to the legs. Again, from the furthest to the nearest in a zigzag manner. And to dispose of the wipes and my gloves and apron all in the clinical waste. Returning to my equipment, I'm going to arrange my um, everything on the trolley. So I have a dressing pack and the expiry is in date and it's intact. I will need a uh, alcohol wipe uh, which expires in 2020. I will need my dressing. I'm using the dressing that um, it tells me on the uh, wound care plan that I require. Checking that the date and it's intact. I will need some normal saline for cleaning the wound. I need to check that there's no precipitate, it's not cloudy, it's intact, it's dry, it's free to use, safe to use. I will need a spare pair of gloves. Um, and an apron. I'm going to put the apron on now so that it doesn't blow off the trolley. Lastly, I will need some hand gel using the wipes that I checked earlier. I'm going to make sure that the spout is clean and not contaminated and clean the bottle and place it on my trolley ready to use. I'm now ready to take my trolley to my patient. So making sure uh, not to touch the top surface and holding the legs below the top shelf, I'm going to take the trolley to my patient's bedside. I'm back. Hi. Is it still okay for me to go ahead with this dressing? Yeah, 
Yes, I think it's fine. Okay, lovely. First of all, Bins, are you in a comfortable position like that? Yeah. Because that's a perfect place for me to do your dressing, if that's okay with you. Yeah, that's absolutely fine with me. Okay. Um, I can see that your dressing um, is clean and intact and dry. There's no seepage or anything, uh, but it has been on for three days, so it is time for us to change it. Um, so what I'm going to do first of all, Helen, is loosen this old dressing, okay? Is that okay with you? Yes. Okay. So let me know if this hurts. It shouldn't be... Just put a little bit on your arm, okay? I'm going to get, try and be as gentle as I can. Okay, so that's oh, ready to use. Okay, Helen, are you ready? I'm going to yes. take my equipment. So, I'm going to take my dressing pack, standing away from my trolley. I'm going to open without touching the trolley itself. I'm going to do my hand hygiene again as I've touched outside packet. Now I'm going to open my dressing pack, touching the inside only and the corners to try not to contaminate the area. Using the bag, the sterile bag, I'm going to rearrange my equipment. Making sure that nothing touches the edge and nothing's hanging off. Okay, using this bag, I am going to take the dressing away. Sorry, Helen. There we go. Turning the bag inside out, I'm going to now use this as my rubbish bag. I'm going to hang the rubbish bag below my sterile field and in between my patient and my sterile field so that I don't contaminate my sterile area uh, when disposing of the rubbish. Taking some more hand gel. I am going to open my dressing. Again, away from the trolley, and I'm going to tip my dressing out. onto my trolley eventually. So I'm going to take my wipe and clean the opening of my normal saline for 30 seconds. Let it dry for 30 seconds. And rip open, being careful not to spill, pour it into my tray. Do my hand hygiene. I'm ready, Helen. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. So I need to put on my sterile gloves using the sterile technique. So the first glove, I can touch the inside only. 
making sure I don't contaminate my hand and on this glove I'm going to touch the outside only to keep everything as sterile as possible. I am now ready to proceed um, with the dressing. So Helen, yes. are you able to lift your arm for me please? Yes. So holding the uh, drape from the outside only, I make sure I put it underneath the patient without contaminating my hands. Thank you very much Helen. So, this is going to be my dirty hand, this is going to be my clean hand. I am going to clean Helen's wound. Now, as um, the healing process has started, um, I'm not going to disrupt that by overcleaning. So I'm going to clean from the cleanest area to the dirtiest with one swipe. Dispose straight into the bin. Taking another swipe, dipping it in the normal saline. I'm going to transfer from my clean hand to my dirty hand without contaminating and do one swipe. I'm then uh, going to make sure I, my wound is dry. Is that okay, Helen? Yes, I'm fine. Okay. As this is a surgical wound, I'm, I'm not going to measure it. However, I, there is a measuring tool here, so if there's any other type of wound other than a surgical wound, I would be measuring the length and uh, breadth of the uh, wound so that I can update the wound care plan. Taking my dressing with my clean hand only, I am going to remove half of the backing and place over the wound. With my dirty hand, I'm then going to secure over the top, making sure that it is my clean hand that touches anywhere near the wound. Securing that. It's all done, Helen. Oh, that's good. How does it feel? I'm feeling good. Okay. Um, I'm going to take this drape away from you now, if that's okay. That's fine. Don't let you respond. Are you comfortable with your arm up there? Yes. Okay. Disposing of the drape and all of the equipment into the rubbish bag. I am going to take off my gloves. And my apron. Going to make sure that this bag is sealed before I move anywhere. This will be disposed of in the clinical waste. Helen, yes. I'm all done. Okay. And how was that? That was good. Okay, so our aim is to keep this dressing on for another three days unless um, the, any seepage or anything comes through in the meantime or if you get it wet in the shower, etc. Let us know and we can change it earlier. Um, everything's healing fine. Um, there doesn't appear to be any signs of infection or anything. And, um, yeah, it's all looking good. Oh, that's good. Can I get you anything before I go? Oh, I'm fine. Okay, so I'm going to open up the curtains, we put the fan back on. Would you like the window open? Uh, no, I think the fan would be fine. Okay, would you like a drink or anything? Um, no. Okay, so um, I'm leaving you with the um, call bell. I'm going to take this equipment away, dispose of it accordingly and make sure the trolley is cleaned and ready for the next use. Then I'm going to update your care plan um, with everything we've done for you today. Is that okay? Okay, do give us a shout if you need anything at all, Helen. Sure.